Rich, you're up, buddy. Good name. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All um, right. So, what is the solution to this problem? Okay. Um, I think to form a, the correct solution, understand the problem that we're going into. So, um, at the moment, there's all this push for this green, equitable world revolution thing that's happening. Uh, and, and the problem is we're about to be caught off guard by it since there is a theory going around the internet. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's based on us hitting a certain epoch in climate cycles. So in Canada, North America, Denmark, um, Greenland and Britain, the weather has got all wacky in strange patterns. Um, and they're trying to claim that there's food problems, but the food problems are based on supply. But I'm not so sure that that is the case um, because there's a lot of things that seem to correlate and some of the predictions some people have been making, um, specifically the Ice Age farmers, seems pretty reliable. Okay. You're, you're kind of zipping around here a little bit, so let me just bring you back to the point. So like, what is the solution to the problems facing the West right now? Um, because I think when the food supply goes and they try and push this bug protein and, and uh, protein paste and whatnot, mm -hmm. I think all of this political activism is going to disappear because people are going to get sick and malnourished from it. Okay, but that's not an active solution. That's 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 a passive sit back and watch this unfold yeah, sort of I statement. Think, I, I don't think it's passive because it's it's pretty hard to to get prepared and to start like um acquiring skills for a more agrarian economy and p particularly an indoor agrarian economy is quite difficult because you have to marshal like money from crypto into some farmland somewhere and you have to you have to build a local network up because we're going to get locked down right like they're going to lock down they're going to lock us down again there's going to be very little access to food so we're going to have to rely on people locally so we've got to start getting ahead of this and building the networks now, because if we say there's going to be. Okay. So you're, you're leaning into the future, making a, a prediction about a problem that doesn't exist right now. We don't have food shortage, shortage problems. There's no issues with food right now. We've got other problems that we're dealing with. So, I mean, what is the solution to the problem that we have today is what I'm asking. Well, I think you've got to break the kids out of their woke activism because Okay, so what is what is the solution to unwoking children? When the entire school system is designed to wokeify your kids. And most parents today, I mean, like one of the biggest things that you can do that's detrimental to your kids is put them in the elementary school system or in daycare, especially if you have a small child. Like the like putting a three or four year old into a daycare system while you go to work to go and make your fifty thousand dollars a year to pay for the daycare system is the equivalence of essentially child abuse. I mean, you're doing your child a disservice. You're supposed to raise your kid yourself. This is what most people do today, right? So, yeah. how do you unwoke these children? I think you have to both scare them, but also give them a a better a better idea of the future they want to be in, which is probably more back to nature and with the animals and stuff like right. that. Right, but I mean, you can't unwoke all the children. A parent can unwoke their own child. How do they do that? They homeschool them, they make sure that they're under their wing until they're an adult, and they give them all the necessary tools and resources. But the vast mm -hmm. majority of the population, as I pointed out here, let's go back to exhibit A, because I'm gonna keep going back to this, because I think voting patterns is very important. The vast majority of the population supports you know, we're talking 60, 70, 80, like we're talking about 80% of the Canadian population anyway, supports the system as it stands right now. So that doesn't solve anything. If let's say, let's say five or 10% of the North American population homeschools their kids, un unwokeifies them, you know, gives them all the tools and resources, tells them, you know, teaches them how to hunt and trap and, and grow their own food and not, not deal with the Karens and the political correctness and all that other nonsense you're still not mm. going to solve the problem. So that's still not a solution. Well, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm betting on certain things happening and I'm trying to get ahead of them. So I, I think the vaccine passport. So hope, <laughs> so hope is your plan is what you're saying. Well, I, I guess hope is I'm... a terrible plan. How many times <laughs> have I said hope is a terrible plan, Rich? 
Well, it's I'm not the future isn't exactly optimistic in my my worldview, but um, I, I think if if we are locked down to smaller communities, it gives us a chance to actually walk out and meet people and start planning. Got it. Face okay. To face. Or, or I'm gonna mind. I'm gonna switch you out because I got like the entire area is waiting here for people to chime in, and we're not getting to a specific solution. But I want to thank you for chiming in, though. But one thing, could you could you check out the Ice Age Farmer and just keep an eye on things he's saying there? The Ice Age Farmer. What is that? Is that a YouTube? Is that a, a website? Uh, what, his Telegram is less censored, so you could check that out. But you can probably find him on YouTube or BitChute. Got it. Okay, thanks for the shout-out. Appreciate it.